The law now recognises that while confidentiality and indeed secrecy are often appropriate within government and private organisations, sometimes that secrecy provides protection for wrongdoing. In England and in Australia, laws were passed protecting public interest disclosures, whistleblowing. Public interest, though, is very difficult to define. In this case, Noor Mohammed alleged that his employer, Chesterton Global, had cooked their books to avoid paying bonuses to himself and about 100 managers. Was this a protected public interest disclosure? On the one hand, 100 is a fair number of people. On the other hand, the group was limited to Chesterton Global Managers, and there's clearly an argument that this is a small group with private interests, nothing to do with the public interest at all. The legislation itself did not define public interest, so the court was left to do so by reference to the plain English meaning of the words. Counsel on both sides tried to define the term with mathematical precision to identify what the judgment described as bright shining lines establishing the boundaries of the public interest. Lord Justice Underhill, however, turned to jurisprudence, and in particular to Professor H.L.A. Hart in The Concept of Law, who identified the tendency to try to make laws more and more clear and formal, and who said, To do this is to secure a measure of certainty or predictability at the cost of blindly prejudging what is to be done in a range of future cases about whose composition we are ignorant. We shall thus indeed succeed in settling in advance, but also in the dark, issues which can only reasonably be settled when they arise and are identified. The rigidity of our classifications will thus war with our aims in having or maintaining the rule. Instead, Lord Justice Underhill maintained that each case must turn on its own facts. There was no clear rule for what constituted the public interest. He accepted four principles. One, the numbers in the group affected. Two, the nature of the interest affected and the extent to which those were affected. Three, the nature of the wrongdoing. And four, the nature and position of the wrongdoer on the basis that identifying the misconduct of the powerful was more likely to be in the public interest. At the end of the day, though, there is no bright line, no point in trying to settle future disputes in advance, but in the dark. Mm -hmm.